Okay, so we have a standard situation here that we need to write a SQL query for. Okay, so I'm going to write this query with you so you understand what happens. Here's the conditions, okay? We need to run a query to get the price for a product, okay? But the key here is that there's different prices depending on what currency you are. Basically, depending on what country you're from, your currency is different, the conversion is different, therefore the admin of the site can set specific prices, okay? So we need to get prices for products. That's our main thing, but they're inflected by the currency. So here are the notes. The currency is determined by the, by the user's country, okay? So we have a table here called country, and it's got the country you are and the currency you're in, you have, okay? So that's a key here is that, um, we know what currency you are based on what country you are. Okay, so in your user table, we store what country you are. Therefore, we can determine what your currency is. Okay, so let's go back to here. The price should be the price could be different based on your currency. So if we go to product price here, you can see that uh, for product ID one um, in U.S. dollars, it's a dollar twenty-four. But for product ID one for currency euros, it's five. So it's five euros instead of a dollar a dollar twenty four US dollars. Okay? So for the same product it could have different prices, but based on your currency. Okay? To note. Another thing to note. Uh, if there is a price change for your country, we want to use that. Okay? So if your country is United Kingdom and we're using the Euros as your currency, your price should be five dollars. Okay? But if you're in say Hungary and you're one product one, well I don't have the, I don't have that product set. I don't have a different price for that set. So I, I want to be able to use my, my U.S. dollars. Okay. I want to default basically to U.S. dollars. Okay. So that's the condition. And otherwise, right. So otherwise, use the price for USA. Okay. So those are our notes, and that's basically what we need to deal with. So let's start with a basic get price. Okay. So uh, to start that off, basically we're going to do a select um, product dot id. Okay, and then we're going to do product underscore price dot currency as currency, and then product underscore price dot price as price, right? Dot price as price. Okay, so that's that. And then we want to say from product, right? And then we're going to, because we're going from product to product price, we need to left join on that, right? So left join, um, left join product price on product dot id equals product underscore price dot product id. Let me explain the left join for a second. Um, on the product table, uh, we've got product id equals one. Okay, this one is the same as product price product id equals one. So when we do that left join for product id one, we're actually getting both of these rows. Okay. So if we if we say product ID equals one, when we do the left join, we're getting both of these rows. Okay, that's what the left join's doing. We're left joining to get the product price table. We're saying the product table's ID column is the same column as the product price's product ID column. Okay, and that's going to give us the product price table. Okay, and then we need to say where um, product dot ID equals let's say product ID one okay that's basically what we're just literally stating okay and if we run this query we get those two results we get product ID one one which we expected and we get two currencies okay now the problem is we don't want two results okay we only want one product price okay so in order to do that we actually have to add a group by basically when, it, when you use a group by, you're saying, okay, I have t columns with the same value that I don't want the same value of, right? So I'm going to group all these together. I'm going to group by this ID column, which is the product product.id. I'm going to group by that. And that's going to compress these. So if I hit run all, I only have one result now. The other result is still there, but you can't see it, and it's not selectable, okay? So just know that. So this doesn't make any sense right now, but you need to have this group by because I don't want two results. I only want one result. Okay. So, so now that I can't get two rows, how do we get that? <clears throat> that we'll call it the foreign price. How do we get the foreign price in columns here? I want that to be visible, but I don't want it to be its own row. 
Well, we're going to do something called self-joining, which is basically joining back on the same table to get more values. So I'm going to literally straight copy this and paste it, but you can't have the same table name, so we're going to alias the table name. We're going to do as, and we'll call it uh, foreign, whoops, foreign price. Okay, so that's going to join the exact same join but call the table foreign price. That means I now can call these foreign price if I want to. So let's hit comma and let's actually copy both of these because I want this twice. Okay, and we can't end with a comma there. So now we want to say foreign price. So foreign price dot currency and foreign price dot price as uh, foreign currency and as foreign foreign price. Okay, so now if I run this, okay, you're like, okay, that didn't work. I'm getting the same result for both of these. Well, you're right, and that's because this is the same join. It's going to give me the same results. We actually need to add a special where clause. We, what we really want to be able to write is and where foreign price, right, oops, where foreign price, um, where foreign price dot currency equals the EUR because that's basically I know that I have the European uh, that I have the euro as my currency right so I'm saying where that okay but there's a problem with doing this so we're gonna run that and okay well that actually works maybe we're cool with doing that we'll leave it like that for now okay um, but so okay so here we go so now we've got all of our results here which is excellent so now we've got two different results however I, I don't want to have in my in my code after I'm done I don't want to have to pick foreign currency or currency I want to I want just to say currency or just to say f price I don't want to have all these different results so how can I combine all four of these together so that I only get currency and price okay basically we need to translate these this last part these if conditions we're going to translate these actually into if conditions in the SQL. So yes, you can do if conditions in SQL. What we're going to do, the syntax for an if condition is, we're going to say if something, okay, so if something, um, you do, so if something, you do something, and then something else, okay? So if this is true, then you do this. If it's false, you do this, okay? That's the syntax, right? So if what, okay? Well, let's let's take for example let's just delete this for a second and let's run it okay so let's say our currency okay well let's let's say our currency is ABR whatever that is let's hit run okay and we get no results why do we get no results well we get no results because this and causes our entire statement to fail we don't want it to fail we only want this join to fail if this where doesn't work. So what does that mean? That means we actually have to move this where clause into the join. You're like, whoa, you can't put a where clause in a join. Yeah, actually you can. You can you can join further is what we're gonna call it, right? So if we put this back to EUR, right? So we'll hit run. Oops, we'll hit run and we get our same result. Let's take this out of here, which makes it's like a global where, and put it right in here. Okay? So we've added a mini where clause inside of our join. So now if I run this, we still get the same result, which is amazing. But if we change this to that ABR now, which does not exist, it's in oops. Instead of having no results, it's going to give us null results. See that? Now, we still get our result because it's not canceling out here. Okay, it's only canceling out this left join. And because it's a left join and not a join, it's it, it will allow null results. So, because I can tell that these fields are null now, we can actually test for nullness in our if condition. So what are we testing for? We want to say if foreign price, okay, if foreign price dot, uh, let's see, whatever, dot currency, okay, is null. If the foreign price is null, then go ahead and use the U.S. dollars. So we're going to say, then we're going to say, um, then we want to say product price dot currency. Okay, and if it's not null, as in we do want to use it, then we'll just say foreign price dot currency. And what are we storing these as? We're going to say as currency. 
Okay? Does this make sense? Does this line make sense to you? You can't answer me. Let me explain it. If the foreign price dot currency right here is null, which it is, use product price dot currency. If it is not null, use foreign price dot currency. Okay? And then alias whatever it is as just the one currency. Okay? We're going to do the same thing for price. So product dot price, right? So product dot price, uh, foreign price, just like that as price. And then we will get rid of all four of these. And let me explain one more time. If foreign price is null, which it is here, product price dot price is what we're going to use. If it's not null, in the case of EUR, it's not null, then we want to use it. Okay? So let's go back to this ABR, which doesn't exist, and let's run this. And we have an error in my SQL. That's because I need to have a comma here. And now we're going to run that again, and you can see that we've got US dollars and a dollar twenty-four. Okay? But and that's because this ABR doesn't exist as a currency. But if we switch that to EUR, which does exist, we're going to get EUR and five. There we go. EUR and five. Beautiful. Again, so now that it exists, we can grab it. If it doesn't exist, like ABR, it'll use the US dollars, which is perfect. Now we've fulfilled that second statement. Now let's do the last condition here, is that um, currency is determined by the user's country. So this part right here, we don't actually know that it's EUR. We don't actually have that knowledge. All we have is that they have country too. So what do we have to do? Sounds like a subquery to me. So in order to do this, we actually have to say, okay, well, how do you get, basically, how do you get the currency from the user's country? Okay, that's the question we have to ask. Well, you go into the country table, and you say, well, I know I'm country too, so we're going to select currency from country, where country ID equals two. That's literally what we're going to write. Uh, so we're going to take out this question here, and we're going to say, um, and we, in parentheses, we're going to put this subquery, not 90, in parentheses, we're going to say, select currency from country where ID equals two. Okay? And again, that's saying that I I do know my country is two, but I don't know what currency it is. So this will select that currency and set it just like we had it before. So now if I run this, now I get EUR price equals five. If I say my country is one, being the United States, I get US dollars. If I say my country is, I don't know, 50, whatever the hell that is, it's going to say, well, I don't know. I don't have 50 sets, so it's just going to use this. Great. So one last problem is that we're actually, for some reason, we're getting some random uh, decimals here. So in this if, what we're going to do is um, is actually round our price. Actually, this price right here, we need to round both of these. So we are going to just say round price to two right there and do it same for here round that price comma two to two decimal places and now we're gonna run it and dollar twenty four again if you're in Europe two run it you get the five there we go so this is a successful way using if statements left joins uh, subqueries and uh, miniature where statements and the rounding function all in an attempt to create a pricing based on a currency